In this tutorial, you'll learn how to build a frequently asked questions section in Bootstrap 5 with the accordion component. Here, the frequently asked questions with the accordion uh, component. All right, let's continue with the, the final section here in the main, which is the frequently asked questions. It's very similar to the packages section. So we just have section here. I'll give it an ID so that we can scroll to it. And I'll give it a class with padding so that we don't have, uh, so it's not sitting right against the edge of the previous uh, section. So in here, we're gonna have an H2 as well. It's gonna say frequently asked questions. And it's also gonna have margin on both top and bottom. So we have this, should be uh, text in the center, of course. All right. And then we're gonna have that accordion component in Bootstrap, right? So this is another complicated component that you probably should not be coding from scratch. So I would just go here, accordion, and I think it looks pretty cool actually, very modern. And this is what I would copy. So I'm gonna copy this and then just customize it. And actually I'll just copy it for my example because it's very similar to what they show here. So I'll just paste it right here. And let's see what we get if we do that. So we have an accordion uh, component here. They have an item in there and then we have the header. Um, so you have the button in the header. That's what you see here when it's not uh, open, right? So how long are the trips? That's here in the accordion header. And then you have the actual body. That's how these items are structured. So it has a header and then a body, right? And you can open them up like this. I think it looks great out of the box. So that's pretty cool. Right now I did add a custom class myself. Let's see. Yeah, so I did add this class to restrain the width a little bit because by default it stretches the entire width, right? So you can see this is very uh, long. So what we could also add here is a container. And actually let's do that just to restrain the width. So now I added a container. I put everything in a container. It's actually quite uh, a lot of HTML. So let me close that for a second. Right, so now the container has restrained the width, but this is still quite uh, wide. So now on this accordion, I'm also going to say the width here, we have seen 100%, but they also have 75% of the parent element, right? That's how width percentages work in CSS. It's always... Uh, about the, the height or width of the parent element. So now I think this is a nicer uh, width. You can see that it's also responsive out of the box. Okay, so one other thing, by the way, about these sections is that on very uh, small viewports, small devices, this is a lot of vertical space, right? So here on, on the top as well. So let's say that here we have padding on the top, right? Um, maybe we don't want that on smaller devices, only when it when it has reached a particular uh, width and bigger. So what we can say here, you can you can also do that with padding. You can add those breakpoint uh, suffixes. Oh, let me close this. So here we have um, the following, right? So we can say add padding on the top and bottom, but only when it has reached the medium breakpoint and bigger. So now you can see on smaller devices, it's it's a little bit more suitable, I think. It looks a little bit better. And then on wider viewport, yeah, so here on wider viewport, uh, we get more padding, right? A little bit subtle perhaps, but I want to show you that you can also use these things, MD on padding and margin and so on, right? I'll add it here for the packages as well, right? And then here, if can we use this? Yeah, it works. But this this is simply a browser browser feature. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.